Hello fellas and welcome to another video. I know that uh, many of you plan to take the OSCP and you might be looking for ways uh, to train in a OSCP like manner. Um, and for that purpose there are a couple of uh, Volnhub virtual machines that would allow you to train in a OSCP like fashion before actually getting into the labs uh, of the OSCP. So um, I got uh, a list with uh, a couple of Volnhub machines that are exactly for this purpose. Um, someone sent it to me on Discord. And the first machine on this list is Kyoptrix1. So I'm actually, uh, since I'm actually in the same boat, um, I'm going to do um, a um, walkthrough for this machine. I did this machine yesterday and it took about an hour, which is quite long for uh, such a simple machine to actually get to the bottom of it, but it was because I was actually enumerating a lot and I followed a couple of paths uh, until I was able to get into the right one. Okay, so um, I'm not going to spend time into telling you how to set up this machine. I actually did a video. Um, debugging the setup of this machine because I ran into an error when trying to set it up. So you might be looking for that um, if you aren't able to view the machine from your Kali Linux, which uh, is exactly what my problem was. Okay, so without spending too much time uh, chatting over here, we'll just do a net discover to uh, get the IP of this machine, which is 152 130 and for that i usually do an nmap minus ss minus sc minus p minus for all ports minus vv for uh, higher verbosity minus a minus t4 which are quite a few minuses over here um, and then dip 192 168 152 130 and we want to uh, uh, into Kyo 1. Okay, let's stop net discover. And as we can see, so we don't have to wait for this uh, nmap command to finish. We can see that we have 80, 443, 139, 111, 22. So the first uh, thing that we can do is to uh, go to port 80. 192, 168, 150 to 130 and see what's there. And as we can see, it's a default Apache page. Okay, let's look into robots.txt. Not found, but we can see that there's an Apache 1.3.20. Okay, so this is a really old machine. Let's look for Apache 1.3.20 20 exploits okay in the meantime we can start a go buster for brute forcing directories web directories 192 168 150 to 130 and the word list let's look into user share word lists a der buster directory list 2.3 let's go with the medium.txt and let's also look for php uh, extensions okay um so at this point we have um we can see so since we have 139 111 111 i think is for nfs 139 is for Samba, we can, um, we could look, we could explore these paths as I did. So let me actually just, uh, so for NFS, I was looking for show mount minus E 192, 168, 150 to 130. And I can see that I don't have any, uh, um, RPC program not registered. So I could debug this further, but it would only be, uh, so to speak, it could be a waste of time or not. It could, it might be a valuable path to pursue, but I actually didn't pursue this path. 
and also uh, for Samba shares I was looking with SMB client minus L uh, into this uh, share 192 168 150 to 130 with the anonymous uh, login and we can see that there's IPC and admin I also didn't pursue this path because I was already looking for um, I was already looking into the exploits because since uh, this is a very old Apache version there probably is one way to exploit it through this um, through this path and as you can see I've been looking for um, I've been looking at these uh, three exploits let's pop them into uh, new tabs okay so Kali is running a little bit slower over here but anyway so this one was the one that uh, so Apache mode SSL uh, open fog v2 uh, there's a newer version of this someone actually made it because if you go into this one um, you might have a little struggle into actually compiling it with the, the given instructions so you might have to change something inside of this exploit which um, I didn't want to do because I wanted to get through this machine as quickly as possible so that is why I, I think I stumbled upon this one so upon um, the open lock thing which should open over here in the meantime while it opens um, we can see so I can tell you beforehand that uh, there aren't gonna there aren't gonna be other uh, directories uh, to be found by GoBuster so we only have test PHP manual usage I think both of these are default Apache and MRTG this actually redirects to 127001 so it redirects to localhost and if we look at uh, Kyle one we can see uh, we can see the output of nmap okay so we have further details on uh, the possible versions of each of these uh, each of these services running on these ports Apache 1320 was correctly identified we also have 22 we could further look into open SSH 2.9 vulnerabilities because this is also an older version so that might also be an area to further look into like I said we have the 8111 which is RPC uh, 139443 okay then we have uh, 1024 which supposedly is also for RPC but anyway let's get back to the main route which was this one so uh, open lock original is open fuck I change for something more elegant okay so we'll just uh, git clone this repository so let's clear this let's control shift V after we clone it uh, you might have to actually install this lib uh, SSL dev but um, I didn't have to install it because it seems that it's already installed in this uh, Kali Linux distribution that I have so let's go into open fuck ls minus a and then we just uh, let's try to compile it as per the instructions minus o uh, let's say um, open let's actually say open lock instead of open fuck um, the open fuck.c with the l crypto okay so there are there haven't been any errors in compli compiling it and let's try to see let's try to run it without any parameters um, 
and as we can see we have to uh, this is how you use it so open lock the target the target this is actually so the target it's not is not the IP but it's actually the offset that you have to specify and since we are on a red hat we can uh, red hat Apache 1320 let's actually see where that is so red hat Apache 1320 so it's either uh, 0x6a or hex uh, 6b we can try either of these we'll start with the first one and the other parameters so the first parameter is the name then uh, 0x uh, or hex 6a then the IP the port so we have to specify 443 and they suggest we use a C in the range of 40 to 50 we'll just use a 45 so again uh, open lock uh, hex let's start with 6a then the IP 190 to 168 150 to 130 then the port 443 and then minus C 45 and no shell so this was actually um, this didn't actually lead to a successful exploitation let's try with uh, hex 6b let's try again okay so the first time uh, it wasn't actually able to get a shell with hex 6b and then the second time it might be able to exploit this machine let's see if we have uh... yeah present working directory so we have a shell let's try to do bash minus i and who am i i am root so this is actually the way i did the the kyoptrix machine um, as you can see it's pretty straightforward because we're having we have a an apache uh, a very old apache version running which was um which was vulnerable to this exploit and uh the creator or the modifier of this exploit helton wernick uh, did an elegant or allowed us or enabled us to do an elegant exploitation of this machine okay fellas so this was kyoptrix in a nutshell it was quite an easy machine if you followed um, if you followed the right or one of the the right paths and there might be others but i haven't uh, i haven't looked into it further okay in the end i want to say that i'm working on a course uh, for python for beginner ethical hackers um, and i'm actually gonna send a one-time big discount uh, to a list of people so in the link of the, the in the description of this video you'll find the link where you can subscribe to a list and that list uh, is uh, going to receive a one-time very big discount when i actually release uh, this python ethical hackers uh, python for beginning ethical hacking course so you might want to check that out in the description of this video okay with that being said if you enjoyed this video guys please let me know um, and i'm going to keep on doing videos in preparation for the oscp actually before starting the oscp coursework so this would be like i said a pre-training for the for before getting into the uh, oscp coursework uh, so with that said Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.